Uh, welcome to another reaction video. Uh, today we're going to be responding to one Kevin Wilson, who is better at formulating coffee than he is at formulating argument. If you identify yourself as a Christian and you are celebrating the overturning of Roe v. Wade, I don't identify myself as a Christian. My baptism identifies me as a Christian, and it comes from outside. And, but the second part is right on. I do celebrate the overturning of Roe v. Wade. In America, this is for you. I am a Christian pastor, and I believe in the sanctity of life. I believe that all life is a sacred gift from God. And all life is a gift from God, except for the life that choice can take away gift from God and that humans are created in the image of God. But I'm not celebrating the overturn. You're not hearing any praise God or hallelujahs in our house. But PK, isn't God pro-life? What if, you can hear me on this, God is God. What if God is pro-life and pro-choice? What if God... <laughs> okay. What if God is for white supremacy and against white supremacy? What if God is God? What if God is not bound by our tiresome... Aristotelian categories of A and not A? What if God is for the Holocaust and against the Holocaust? What if God loves black people and hates black people? What if God is God? Honors the sacredness of life, but also the holiness of choice. <laughs> what if God honors the sacredness of life, but also honors the sacredness of people who don't honor the sacredness of life? What if God honors his commandment, <laughs> thou shalt not murder, but also honors those who take the matters into the, who take matters into their own hands. To put God into this false binary of pro-life and pro-choice is to uh, maybe God loves this video this guy's making and hates this video that this guy's making. To say otherwise would be to guilty <laughs> be guilty of a false binary. Suppose God hates false binaries and loves false binaries. How about that? I think we're gonna go down the rabbit hole risk of weaponizing scripture to make it fit our own agenda. That being said, what the overturning did was not ban death or the forces that destroy life. Overturning Roe is not going to stop abortions. But this yeah, it's not going to stop abortions. It's not going to stop all abortions. Will it stop many? Will it stop millions? Will, you, will it stop hundreds of thousands of abortions? Yes, it will. And those people are going to grow up, are going to be born and grow up and start making choices. And I, I heard from someone recently that their choices will be holy. What this has done is limit and police choices for people that are going to have to bear its consequences for the rest of their life. The Bible... <laughs> well, let's just put it this way. He looks way cooler than he thinks. Also mentions that God is love. In order for love to be love, there must be the freedom to choose. Limiting the options of choice is to also limit the possibilities and potency of love. The overturning is not a victory for life. This is a victory for those who want to preserve and structure power within our government to legislate a specific moral imagination. This is a victory for those who think that America is a Christian nation where Christianity should be the organizing principle for all people. Well, absolutely. Of course Christianity should be the organizing principle for all people. I mean, God made the world, didn't he? It is not, and it should never be. As a follower of Jesus, I want to live a life that mirrors the justice, love, and the compassion of Jesus. But also hates the love, justice, and compassion of Jesus. Never forget, you must reject false binaries. In this case, to me, it means to be slow to celebrate and quick to listen. Slow to antagonize and quick to empathize. So that was a video that was just chock full of false binaries. This is a sad and lamentable thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I wanted to make sure to let you know that season four of Man Rampant is here. For the next few weeks, we'll be posting clips on the Canon Press YouTube channel, but the full interviews are only available on Canon Plus. Check it out at mycanonplus.com slash manrampant. And if you haven't joined up yet, you can get your first month for just 99 cents by using promo code MR99.